So um, at this point, uh, we might want to ask, ano ba yung tamang statistical method uh, that I will need for my own research? So the choice of uh, statistical method depends on the uh, type of quantitative data that we have, and also the nature of the research question or the hypothesis. Okay, and let us uh, examine this in detail. So, uh, one um, one determinant on how we choose the right statistical method is the type of quantitative data. And there are different types of uh, quantitative data. So one is uh, categorical and numerical data. So pan you might want to ask, bakit yung categorical data, which indicates uh, the inherent quality of the subject, let's say, for example, gender or ethnicity, nationality, paano siya naging quantitative? Uh, naging, naging, magiging quantitative siya if we assign uh, a numerical value for that qualitative data. So let's say uh, you assign a value of 1 for males, 2 for females. Or let's say 1 for Filipino, one, uh, 2 for uh, Americans, and so on. So dun nagiging parang quantitative yung uh, categorical data. Well, numerical data is expressed in numbers, uh, for example, high weight uh, temperature. But these uh, two main types of data has also uh, some levels, uh, wherein the categorical data is divided into uh, nominal and ordinal. So the nominal uh, type of categorical data has assigned values only. So wala siyang order or rank. So if you assign a number uh, one for male or female, uh, two for female, then uh, it's just an assignment of value. So hindi, uh, there's no ranking or order uh, in the data. It's just mere uh, assignment of values. While the yung ordinal data, do naman po pumapasok yung uh, order or ranking. So, uh, for example, uh, the income level, let's say uh, the low income, low income group, uh, middle income group, high income group, and uh, for example, also the level of agreement. If you slightly agree, or strongly agree. So that is the ordinal type of uh, categorical data. Well, on the other hand, the numerical data naman, uh, can be divided into interval or ratio. The interval type of uh, numerical data uh, says that uh, the, the data points are numerical, but the zero point is arbitrary or um, wala siyang definite na meaning. So let's say, for example, your numerical data is the IQ scores or the IQ of students. So walang IQ na zero. So <laughs> wala namang uh, uh, tao na, wala, na walang IQ. So the zero value there has no meaning or it's just arbitrary. Or wala din na zero May zero na temperature, pero walang zero na init. Diba? When we say the, the zero degree Celsius, it doesn't mean na walang temperature. My temperature is just zero. And it's just as, uh, arbitrarily assigned. So that's the uh, interval type of numerical data. So yung uh, pinakamataas na order ng numerical data is the ratio where the data points are numerical, uh, but the zero point means absolute zero. So if you have uh, zero centimeters, 
And that means walang height. Zero ang height. It's absolute. Or zero ang weight. Zero kilograms. It's weightless. Okay? Or length. So ito po yung pinakamataas na type of uh, numerical data because uh, we're able to do mathematical operations uh, with those uh, uh, ratio type uh, and all the different mathematical operations uh, for those types of, for, the, for that specific type of numerical data. So this is very important because uh, it's a jargon. It's a jargon uh, for statistics. Na pag sinabing nominal ordinal interval ratio. So, dapat mag-click sa atin kung uh, what those types are. Kasi very technical uh, yung mga terms. Pag sinabing number, hindi lang basta number, uh, there is an interval type or ratio type of number. Okay. So let me just give an example on how uh, we uh, we choose the statistical tool based on the type of our quantitative data. So let me just switch over to a website. So I found this. Uh, website on the internet from uh, UCLA or the University of California in LA where uh, they laid out in tabular form um, the ways on how to choose the correct statistical test uh, based on the type of, uh, of quantitative data that you have. So if you have uh, one variable, let's say one variable with uh, one independent variable. If the nature of the dependent variable, let's say for example, is interval and it's normally distributed, then you can uh, you can employ or use one-way uh, analysis of variance. So ito yung parang uh, summary uh, ng parang recipe book on what the statistical uh, method uh, applicable to a certain type of uh, dependent, dependent variables and their type of quantitative data. So I will uh, post them, uh, post this link uh, later uh, para po mabisita nyo so that it will also help you uh, in choosing the right statistical tool uh, for your data.